it's time to reveal one of my biggest secrets that I've ever had in my life. I'm going to show y'all how I make my iconic coffee. Starbucks, I'm coming for your brand because my coffee is way better. Just as good, I promise you. You guys, get ready. You're about to learn how to make the best coffee in the world. Here we go. So first off, you're going to need some Maxwell House. I always try to get the medium or some Folgers. Either way, really good. Folgers and Maxwell's House. Maxwell's House and Folgers in your cup is what you need. And you got to have you a little coffee maker. There's my coffee maker. I've already put the coffee in there. Now I just have to get some water. So I'm going to put the water in there real quick. All right. So are you ready to figure out how to make the best coffee in the world? Starbucks. I'm coming for your brand because the coffee I make is better than anybody's coffee. Don't try me, okay? So here we go. I'm going to show you how to make the best coffee in the world. More iconic than Starbucks and all coffee bean and all of them put together. I'm the coffee queen and that's how it's going to be. First of all, you need a cup. I like a big cup because I like a lot of coffee. So you fill it to about right here if you have a big cup or just however much coffee you want. The next thing you're going to need is three ingredients of sugar type things which are regular sugar. Like this right here is granulated sugar. So we're gonna take that and I'm gonna take uh, this spoon right here, just kind of weirdish spoon, but you know, gotta get it out of there somehow or another. So I'm going to take three spoons. One, oopsie, two, three. Oh, well, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a fourth one. Four, but like that much. Now we've got that. Next sugar ingredient. Oh, girl. You ain't ready. This is my iconic coffee that I've been drinking forever. You will love it. You have to make it, okay? It's cheap and it's easy and it's better than Starbucks. I'm telling you, you will live for it, okay? Next thing you need is some brown sugar. This is light brown sugar, but it doesn't matter. It can be regular brown sugar, light brown sugar. Either way, as long as it's brown sugar, you're good to go. So with this, I'm going to take one good spoon of it. Mm -hmm. About that much. It looks like a lot, but you know what? Flavor is flavor. That might be a little bit too much, actually. I don't know. But it's going to taste good, I promise you. We shall see. Last ingredient of sugar is Domino Confectioner's Sugar 10X Powered uh, Pure Cane Sugar with Cornstarch. This is the powdered sugar is bay. Okay, it's hot. I'm going to die. Like, actually, for real. Hold on a minute. All right, we've got some air conditioning going because homegirl was about to die. So, again, confectioner's powdered sugar is what you need. I'm going to take the same spoon, and we're going to take a dip in here. And also, like, it makes the air taste good. Like, literally, if this goes in the air, your air is going to taste good. I wish the air on this planet literally just tasted like this. That would be, you'll be happy all the time, girl. All right, so I'm going to take about this much. Don't know if you can see, but that much. And into the cup it goes. So, now... We mix. So I'm just gonna take a steak knife and a, what do you call this knife? Butter knife, I don't know. I'm gonna take this knife that isn't quite sharp and stir it. Let's make a song out of this. Good to go. The last ingredient you need, and this is the most important thing besides all the sugars, canned milk. So, I'm going to insert right here a picture of the milk you need to have. It's canned milk. Just, here's the picture. Either that or almond milk. It's the best thing to have with coffee. Regular milk, fuck that. You need either this or almond milk. So, take my advice, girl. It will make it taste amazing. So, we're going to take and pour enough in here to make it look, to make it good. So... I wish I could show y'all this a better way. Woo! I want to show y'all in a better way. Alright, so now I'm going to stir it and see if I have enough. Let's taste. You are not ready. You're not ready for this. Okay. So, now... I'm going to take and put some ice cubes in it because I like mine to be really cold, like my soul. <laughs> Gotta put everything in the refrigerator, it's so hot. Thank God for air conditioners because I would die. All right, so now you're gonna need some ice if you like it cold, if you like it like hot or whatever, keep it this way, but I like mine with ice because I'm me. So I'm gonna take some ice with ice cubes you make on your own because I don't know, that's how I live life. <laughs> One ice cube two ice cubes, 
There's a dog hair. Four ice cubes. Five, five ice cubes. I'm bad at counting. <laughs> All right. Uh, about seven ice cubes right there. And then we're going to stir it one more time with the ice in there. Let me look like Melania Trump. All right. And then you're going to take your last ice cube. Throw that in there. Stir again. Sippy, sippy. And now you have coffee better than Starbucks. You're welcome. All right, I love y'all so much. As y'all can see, I'm sweating to death right now. So I'm gonna go, but I hope y'all enjoy this and I hope y'all try this out yourself. I hope you like it. Like, I love coffee and this is my best coffee I've ever made in my life. So try it and you will love it. I promise you. Starbucks again, coming for your brand. I'm sorry, but like, I'm the coffee queen. So I love y'all. See you later. So for you, if you want to subscribe, become a member of the Britney Army and give Kirk a Bane Rainbow Wings. I know that I'm extra. Shana Soya, let me know. Social media will be down in the description box down below. Remember to say sassy, classy, and a very extra. I love you all so much. Mwah.